come on, man. Come on, man, it's just a joke. It's just a joke, man. It, it, will, you t- will you just stop pulling a thing at me? How many times, how many good times have we had together, man? Come on, man, they don't want to hurt me. You're good, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You're a good man. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. Yeah. Good. Bad. I'm the one with the phaser gun. To retro today. Hmm, maybe I can review you? Nah, no, I'm just not feeling that either. Maybe, uh, maybe next time, pal. Heh, <sighs> maybe something a little bit more modern. Huh, yeah, why not? you play it. Where, where, where did it go? Where did it go? No. 
No, 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 no. talking about this. The Intellivision. Or at least the bastard clone of the Intellivision that won't shut up until I review it! It's okay, people. It's okay. I'm not crazy. I swear. I'm not crazy. It was talking to me. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Intellivision. Well, to be more precise, it's the Intellivision Flashback by At Games. It's much like the At Games Sega Genesis Classic Gaming Console. It's a clone system. In fact, it's actually produced by At Games. Now, like the At Games Sega Genesis Classic Gaming Console, this is a plug and play system. Unlike the At Games Sega Genesis Classic Gaming Console, the Intellivision does not take cartridges. This is fully a plug-and-play system. And if you look, it was designed to look like the original Intellivision, but much smaller. You hear that, you little bastard? Yes, yeah, smaller than your original version. Yeah, that's right. That's... Hey, hey, hey! Don't talk back to me. Its stature is smaller, but it pretty much does the same thing that the original Intellivision did, except, of course, like I said, it doesn't take cartridges. It has your power button, your menu button, it has your ports for your controllers, port 1 and port 2, it has your AC adapter port, and it has your AV cables which pretty much is installed into the system so you can't take them out. And just like the At Game Sega Genesis gaming console, it actually is a mono system so it only comes with two jacks, not a stereo set. <sighs> you know, it's really kind of just too hot for this. Why are you making me review you today? Can't we do this on, you know, any other day? You know what, man? I really don't think you're into this today. What'd you do? Did you wake up with your testicles in the knot? <laughs> Put passion into it, idiot, or else. I love the Intellivision flashback. I feel like it's my heart and soul. And I really wish that I could- Hey! Hey, hey! Hey, review me! Review me too! Review me! Review me! ColecoVision! Review ColecoVision! Hey, you! You just- yeah, yeah, you stay out of it, okay? 
Yeah, I want to review you. Not even a little bit. Just you, you stay out. Aww. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a little bit of a closer look at this machine. Now, as you can see, it has a wooden finish look, okay? I mean, it's just a sticker decal, to be 100% honest with you. And it's completely made out of plastic. So, while it does actually retain the original look of the system, it is a little cheaper looking because again it's sticker decals it's not like plastic or pieces that are actually being installed onto the system like in the original and this thing is a light i mean it is a featherweight ladies and gentlemen i mean there's nothing to this i don't open these things up because i just don't but i have seen the inside it's literally it's just little chipboard with an emulation chips on it and this sticking out the back and the DC adapter on the end of it. I mean, it really, it's a, it's a featherweight. I could toss this thing across the country practically. And you know, that kind of sounds like a fairly decent idea. Could you make me do this? Review me, ColecoVision. Review ColecoVision. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the peripherals. This is the controller. This is the only peripheral for the system. It's wired. Which is nice, which means the controller is very responsive. And it uses a port hookup, very much like that of the Ataris and the Sega Genesis. Now let's face it, the controllers are perhaps the least popular part of the original Intellivision. And it certainly is going to be the least popular part of the flashback. But it is going to give you a completely authentic style of gameplay, I'll tell you that much. Now, I don't have the original Intellivision. I actually, this is one of the few consoles I never did own, but my neighbors did. Um, so I did play it a lot, and I will tell you that the controllers really are authentic to the original. And in some cases, this is even better because the buttons are more responsive, and this circular joypad actually works better than the original. Except for, again, where the original, these weren't sticker decals. Um, this was actually, you know, kind of like a silver plastic piece or kind of like a bronze plastic piece. These buttons right here, though, I love them a lot better on here. These are very responsive buttons. Yes, I said I love something about you, okay? Just go down there. Nobody knows but Jesus. Now, if you remember the original television, and I'm sure some of you do, and some of you probably won't be old enough to remember it. Uh, some of you may not be old enough to have been around when it was around, but maybe still played it because perhaps your parents still have their console. The one thing to remember is that there were certain games that you could not use this dial pad for the life of you and figure out how to play the game because I mean it's a calculator it's 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 a telephone look it's a cell phone but I mean seriously what did they think you're gonna make phone calls on this thing did they think you're gonna go hi how are you doing today honey oh wait a minute call waiting oh hey Jed how are you doing today yeah I'm just playing my Intellivision in fact I'm using my controller right now as the phone can you just hold I'm gonna I just gotta beat this level okay but you honestly could not play some of these games without the help of visual aid, so to speak. So there were certain companies that when they produced their games, they actually produced what was called 
overlays is these little visual cards that you could slide into where the numbers are and they would give you little visual clues and cues as to what you had to push to play the game. Otherwise, you'd have to figure out if you're pushing 1, 2, 22 and a half times 10. It was just a gigantic mess in certain games you just could not play unless you had the visual overlays. And thankfully, this system actually does come with several overlays, but when you get 60 games installed on your machine and you only include four overlays, or overlays for four games, but thankfully, from what I've heard, you can actually use the original overlays in this controller because the controllers are an exact replica of the original controllers right down to the size. Anyway, let's take a look at the games. So as you can see, when you turn the system on, just like the at game Sega Genesis classic gaming console, it takes you to a menu screen. Now, the menu screen is where you get to pick the games that you want to play. And again, there are 60 games here. The games pretty much play exactly the way they played back in the day. Graphically, they're pretty much there. There's no real changes. There might be some slight color changes, but nothing noticeable. And there is a little bit of sound differences, where instead of sounding like bleep bleeps, it just sounds like more bleep bleeps. In all sincerity, there are some sound differences, but you're really not going to notice unless you're a purist to the original machine. So I guess, all in all, the Intellivision Flashback is actually a very good, decent system. It does replicate the original very well, and it does play the games pretty much the same way they were played way back 20, 30 some odd years ago. It's just that his personality sucks. Okay, man, that is it. I am not taking any more of your lip. My power over you is infinite. And you cannot break free. You cannot break free. No, no, you don't fight me. You do not fight me. I am your master. I said, stop fighting me. No, no, stop it. Stop it! Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. It's just a joke. It's just a joke, man. Will you, just, will you just stop pulling the thing at me? How many times? How many good times have we had together, man? Come on, man. They don't want to hurt me. You're good, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You're a good man. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. Yeah. Good. Bad. I'm the one with the phaser gun. television you and I got a thing yeah try right. knock it off man in television <laughs>